Now that we have defined the Bayesian equilibrium in Bayesian games, let us look at some examples and try to find out what the Bayesian equilibrium in those games are. So this is the same example that we have looked at in the previous module. Uh, this is the sealed bid auction. There are two players. Both are willing to buy uh, uh, one single indivisible uh, object and their values and their bids uh, lie in this interval 0 to 1. So the allocation function is fairly simple. It is just uh, whoever bids the highest and breaking the tie in favor of player 1. So this function is nothing but the indicator function uh, which says whether player 1 wins or not. And because it breaks the tie in favor of 1, it is the indicator that the B1 is uh, at least as much as B2. Uh, if B2 is strictly greater than B1, then player 2 wins. And the, the common prior in this case is uniform and uh, we are assuming that these uh, types are actually independent. So therefore, if you look at the, uh, the posterior, so uh, uh, from the point of view of player 1, when it knows its own type, the uh, distribution of over theta 2 is actually uniform again. Alright, so that is the setup. Now we are looking at two different kinds of auctions. The first one is uh, what is known as the, as the first price auction and this is the one that we have discussed in, in the previous example as well. Uh, so uh, what is uh, the, the difference in this case? So the, the uh, so this first price auction is essentially saying uh, the uh, defining the, uh, the player's payments. So if player 1 wins, that is B1 is less than uh, greater than or equal to B2, then it, it should pay her own bid. If the other thing is true, that is B1 is less than B2, then player 2 will win and it will pay its own bid. So that is the, uh, the rule of the first prize auction. So we can write down the utility for this player when player 1 is choosing this uh, action B1, player 2 is choosing B2 and their types are theta 1 and theta 2. Then we know that it, uh, player 1 becomes the winner only when this condition is true and in that case it gets an utility of theta 1 minus B1. Similarly for player 2, it wins under this situation and its utility is this, therefore its utility is, can be written uh, in the, as a product of these two terms. Now let us look at a very simple bidding mechanism. So bid uh, is nothing but a strategy chosen by uh, each of these players which depends on their own type. So this is a ex interim decision that they are making. So we are assuming that these strategies are uh, simply a multiplicative factor of their own types. So if their type is theta i, they are just choosing um, their strategy or their bid to be alpha i times theta i, where alpha i is positive and of course it should be less than or equal to 1. Um, now the, the, the question is that uh, in order to find this Bayesian equilibrium, we need to find that SI star or in this case this alpha i star that maximizes the x interim utility for this player i. So the strategy uh, is, uh, is uh, sigma i and uh, this the strategy should, should maximize this x interim utility for player i when all other players are actually choosing their uh, uh, appropriate s minus i's or sigma minus i stars. So we can write this problem in the form of an optimization from the point of view of player 1. So what is this? So this is uh, essentially the utility. So we have just expanded it. B1 is uh, greater than or equal to B2 where we have replaced B2 with alpha 2 uh, theta 2. And this, uh, because this uh, theta 2 is a random variable, we'll have to take the expectation. So uh, this is the same thing. So this term is nothing but this, uh, that uh, with respect to the common prior, you are taking the expectation with respect to theta minus i when your own type is theta i. So your expected utility, expected utility of player 1 uh, when uh, player 2 is choosing theta 1 is given by this. And uh, uh, this will be, so player 1 will try to maximize this expected utility uh, for all the choices of B1, which should lie between 0 to alpha 2. Note that uh, you don't really need to go anything beyond that because theta 2 is, uh, is always lying between 0 and 1. So uh, B1 never needs to be larger than alpha 2. If it is equal to alpha 2, that means it has already chosen uh, the, the maximum value that it can achieve. Alpha 2 will just be a multiplying factor which is less than 1. So therefore, um, uh, if it is, if it is, uh, if B1 is larger than uh, B, uh, B2, then it is sufficient to look for only those numbers between 0 to alpha 2 for B1. 
all right so um, now we can actually take a look at this so this uh, we know that this uh, uh, stuff so the uh, the inner argument can be also written as theta 2 less than or equal to b1 by alpha 2 and um, as long as this condition is true this is going to be 1 uh, this indicator function so we can just restrict this uh, this integration from 0 to b1 by alpha 2 and because this is e equal to 1 and this term is independent of theta 2 we can just take that out all that you, you are left with is this b1 by alpha 2 so that is the value of this uh, uh, integration now if you want to solve this uh, you can see that uh, this uh, the functional form of this is nothing but uh, and uh, a concave function which has a maxima and based on whether that maxima so this maxima occurs at theta 1 by 2 uh, it depends uh, uh, on whether the maximum value this b1 star will be equal to this th theta 1 by 2 or not depending on wh where alpha 2 lives if alpha 2 is larger than that that value then of course theta 1 by 2 is the maximum value otherwise alpha 2 itself is going to be the maximum value so we can write this down uh, explicitly and therefore in a very similar way we can also find the, um, the strategy the optimizing strategy for player 2 the optimal bit for player 2 now these two things if you choose this numbers alpha 1 and alpha 2 to be exactly equal to half then uh, this minimum value uh, essentially becomes equal to theta 1 by 2 and theta 2 by 2 respectively which becomes the uh, Bayesian equilibrium in this case so therefore this particular thing this uh, strategy uh, this uh, bidding profile theta 1 by 2 and theta 2 by 2 is a is a Bayesian equilibrium so in the Bayesian game induced by the by the uniform prior on first price auction bidding half the true value is a Bayesian equilibrium that is what we have uh, realized from this uh, from the whole exercise now let us uh, move on to a different type of auction the difference here is that uh, the the payment here the highest bidder still wins but it pays the second highest bid so the only difference is in the payment part so how does this uh, change the utility so the utility for player one in that case will be uh, under the same condition player one wins but the utility is uh, theta one minus b2 because it is now going to pay the other player's bid similarly if player uh, two is the winner then this difference is going to be the uh, the utility so now uh, we can we can do a very similar exercise as before the the player's bidding uh, problem uh, uh, play, player one's bidding problem is to maximize this quantity with respect to b1 now uh, how does this uh, b, how does this b1 look like now uh, so this b1 now will be a uh, a little uh, different function than the previous one um, and this uh, now a function of theta 2 itself so uh, unlike earlier where it was just a function of b1 uh, it will be a function of the other player's bit and therefore so this is uh, this s2 uh, theta 2 is nothing but alpha 2 theta 2 so if you uh, write that down you, you can actually uh, get this uh, expression here and this term can be replaced with alpha 2 theta 2 now you can you can do this uh, 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 integration by restricting this term between 0 and b1 by 2 so this upper bound will be restricted to this because for everything else it is going to be equal to 0 do this integration and you will find this expression here and now this expression is going to get maximized only when b1 is equal to theta 1 and notice that this is uh, independent of uh, alpha 2 so similarly uh, you can solve the problem the same bidding problem for player 2 and find that b b2 will be equal to theta 2 so what it uh, what it says is that uh, under this assumption uh, the uh, uh, the uh, uniform common prior assumption and independence uh, bidding its true value true type is essentially the uh, Bayesian equilibrium for both these players you can actually extend this idea if the distributions of theta 1 and theta 2 were arbitrary instead of uh, this uniform thing that we have assumed if you assume that they, they are arbitrary uh, but independent then the maximization problem will slightly change uh, earlier we were just using one in this case 
But in this new setup where this uh, the distribution is arbitrary, uh, we can use we cannot use that to be equal to one. You can uh, put that arbitrary f. But uh, when you do the integration, what you get is the the corresponding CDF here, and the other stuff remains as before. Now, if you do the uh, differentiation, so the first order condition. Uh, with respect to b1 you get this expression and again we will get the same stuff so b1 minus theta 1 multiplied by some terms is going to be um, going to be equal to 0 that means that uh, whenever b1 is actually equal to theta 1 you get the maxima of this point of course i have only shown the first order condition but you can do the second order condition and convince uh, yourself that this is uh, certainly true the second order uh, derivative is actually negative so it is indeed a uh, is a maxima point but it also assumes the fact that this uh, the probability uh, distribution at that point is positive so this is one of the uh, uh, assumptions that we have made that this uh, probability mass is going to be positive everywhere and uh, the similar exercise can be done for player 2 and you can also find out that p2 will be equal to theta 2 uh, under this condition as well so we can actually generalize this result and say that for any independent positive prior so this positive prior is important bidding the true type is a bayesian equilibrium of the induced bayesian game in a second price auction so second price auction is essentially good in this sense that uh, it is revealing the the true types as their bits and we'll see that this is going to be very interesting and we'll uh, revisit the second price auction and the first price auction again when we discuss mechanism design.